Greetings friends, colleagues, fellow learners there in the Eastern District of the Alliance in Ontario and the Maritimes and all those points east. I feel a certain connection with you. Uh, that's my district. I passed it there in Peterborough, Ontario for a number of years and always value the chances that I get to go back. And I've preached there often in the last year. In fact, I've had a chance to go up to two of our churches up in Ottawa and looking forward to being back into the district this coming year in 2018. One of my first visits is going to be at First Alliance Church there in Toronto. They're hosting me in March to do an evening public lecture, and if others of you want to join in, I'm sure they would be pleased if you were able to join us. I'm very sorry that I'm not there in person. Uh, the fact of the matter is we had a mix-up in the schedule, and I thought I was supposed to be there at one time and just didn't get quite when the schedule was going to be. So with apologies that I'm not there in person, please receive this greeting from me, from your colleagues and friends here at Ambrose University, through this video. In particular, what I'd like to ask is that as you're there for this prayer retreat, do remember us in your prayers. Keep Ambrose University in mind, and I'd like to ask in particular that you remember three things. Number one, of course, remember our new faculty colleagues who have joined us this fall, several of them, but in particular would you remember Pam Nordstrom. Pam Nordstrom has come to us from uh, Mount Royal University. She's our new vice president academic. She reports directly to me. She brings an extraordinary range of strengths, perspectives, and experience to this job. She comes to us, she attends the Foothills Alliance Church, so she really understands our ethos, our mission, our deep commitments, our values. So pray for Pam as she gets up to speed in the kind of leadership that she needs to bring to this institution. Secondly, I would really value it if you would pray for our students, and in particular for our new students. We're at that point, kind of midway through the first semester, for these students that, especially those that have been out of school any length of time, or they've come from high school. Moving into university can have its own challenges. And I, I suspect that right about now, they're really feeling the pinch of what it means to be a university student as over against what they've come from. So think of, there's 253 new students this fall here at Ambrose University and Seminary. If you could remember them in your prayers as they manage their schedule and manage the pressure points of what it means to be a university or a seminary student. And then thirdly, unapologetically, I'm going to ask that you would pray for me as well. As I uh, send you this communication, I'm anticipating our board meeting this fall and all of the challenges that we will have around that. And we're wrestling with the question of what is mission critical at Ambrose University? And where can we make financial adjustments, frankly cuts? We're in a very challenging position financially right now. We need to be able to weigh those financial challenges over against as I put it, that which is mission critical. I have been in some form of ministry or leadership now for almost 30 years. And frankly, these, this, not, nothing has been quite so challenging as these weeks in terms of how we wrestle with the future of this university, this institution, in the midst of the unique challenges we have. And so I would really value your prayers and that you would pray for the board of the university as I work with them to give leadership to this place. Finally, before I sign off, I want to let you know there's something on the horizon that we'd like you to be aware of. It's called Ambrose at Large under the leadership of Terry Young, our professor of pastoral theology here at Ambrose Seminary. Terry has a vision, we're very excited about this, to bring members of our faculty, members of our community, into dialogue and conversation with those of you in pastoral ministry and different leadership posts. Ambrose at Large will, will create a platform for dialogue, conversation, bringing together resources, insights, experiences where we can be learning from one another and learning together. Keep an eye out for it. The announcement's coming. We expect it to go live in the month of January, but we are very excited about what Terry is doing as he leads Ambrose at large. I pray God's blessing upon you as you gather there. May this retreat, this stepping away from the challenges of your own ministry situations, wherever God has you, everywhere from Ottawa to Windsor to further points east, may God's grace and blessing rest upon you and encourage you for the challenges that you are, fa you are facing. Thank you for your prayers. God go with you.